Hello, it's Dave Champlin again, a uh, biology professor at the University of Southern Maine. And in this short follow-up video, I'm going to talk about DNA methylation during cell differentiation. We have our two familiar cells, our undifferentiated myoblasts that can undergo differentiation to produce the differentiated muscle cells in our body. In this video, I'm gonna talk about four cells and each of the four cells I've made the blue clay model representing the DNA of the myogenin gene. Each cell in our body has the myogenin gene due to genomic equivalence. That means during differentiation, the DNA doesn't change. The DNA sequence stays the same and different cells have genomic equivalence. The DNA doesn't change with one exception, and it's an important exception called DNA methylation. Here's an image of DNA methylation. It shows the DNA sequence, and it shows that some of the C's can be methylated. In this image, it shows that this gene is unmethylated, because in general, it's thought that methylation causes gene repression. And for a gene to be expressed, it generally needs to be undermethylated or unmethylated. The reason that this is an advanced topic is because DNA methylation plays a very important role in the lives of all plants and animals. I'm just going to show you one example of that uh, to emphasize how important DNA methylation is. Here's a queen ant and worker ants. They're identical twins. They have the same AGCT nucleotide sequence in their DNA. They differ in the pattern of DNA methylation. The queen has a different DNA methylation pattern because of the food that she was fed when she was a larva. Let's get back to the role of DNA methylation in cell differentiation. These two cells we need to add to our story are a chondrocyte which is a differentiated cell in our body that makes cartilage or connective tissue and a chondroblast, which is an undifferentiated precursor to a chondrocyte. Chondroblasts undergo differentiation to make chondrocytes. Scientists using mice were able to do a very interesting experiment. They manipulated the DNA for the, myogenin, for the myoD gene in a test tube, and they put that manipulated back gene back into mice. That led to misexpression of the myoD protein in chondroblasts. When the myoD protein was misexpressed in chondroblasts, the myoD protein bound to the enhancer of the myogenin gene, as we learned in an earlier video, and cause the transcription of the myogenin gene, the expression of the myogenin gene, leading to synthesis of myogenin protein. As we learned, myogenin protein in turn binds the enhancer of other genes that are specific for muscle cell differentiation. And what happened in this modified mouse is that chondroblasts differentiated into muscle cells. Before we go on, I just want to make note that it's interesting to see that because of genomic equivalence, the chondroblasts have the DNA to make a muscle, they're just not using it. And by manipulating the DNA and misexpressing myoD, the scientists were able to change the fate of a chondroblast from making chondrocytes and cartilage to making muscles. That's really significant in the story of life on Earth. Genomic equivalence helps explain how we have such diverse animals as animals who evolved muscles in their noses. The scientist also misexpressed myoD in chondrocytes. And when they did, no myogenin was made. As a result, we can add emphasis here that 
When we misexpress myOD in a chondroblast, we can make muscles, and when we misexpress myOD in a chondrocyte, we failed to make muscles. What's going on? What's going on is thought to be, uh, in part, patterns of DNA methylation. I'm going to use little tacks to represent methylated Cs. And in a myoblast, it would be thought that the myogenin gene would be unmethylated and ready to be expressed. That would also be true in a muscle cell that's differentiating and making myogenin. Because remember that methylation generally represses gene expression. Similarly, in a bioblast, the thinking would be that the myogenin gene would be under or unmethylated. I'm putting methyl groups here outside of the myogenin gene. Then, in the chondrocyte, one of the reasons it's thought that no myogenin is made is because the myogenin gene has become methylated during differentiation. And so that although the DNA doesn't change during differentiation, DNA methylation patterns do. The idea is that differentiated cells uh, still have genomic equivalence, and that means the muscle cell has the genes to make cartilage, but it's not using them. It's thought that during differentiation, cells methylate genes they're not going to need and repress their expression. That's what happens here, where during chondrocyte differentiation, it's thought that a gene like myogenin that's no longer important will get methylated and repressed.